So these are just lines with uh, the vacuum jacket around the lines. So each one of these is a little thing that can pump out these lines. So that's that I can tell you. Um, then to bring that view over, uh, And then tighten, tighten that. Make sure that's tight enough so that doesn't fall fall down there. If you let that go, that's, that's not this. That's more. That's, that's, that's not a six inches. All right. Um, yeah. Make sure that's tight enough so it doesn't. So do you, I just want it tight enough so you can slide it in and out, but not so tight that you can't. Um, I want it loose enough to be slide enough, but tight enough so that it's not gonna fall down. Okay. So now I'm gonna put this in, and. Uh, So, so right now there's this valve which is closed here. So I'm going to open this valve and tighten this down a little bit. I'm going to open this valve and immediately gas is going to come out of here. Just feeling gas because it's very high pressure. Right. And I'm just going to let that. There's a lot of gas in there. I'm going to start putting that a little bit in, and then I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this down. Right. Now, normally I might want to let this cool off a little bit before I. Put it in there. So this gas, you feel that is warm. If that was cold, look here in there. If I start putting this gas down, it's just going to warm it up right away. Yeah. But there's no, there's no gas in there. So it's roughly 19 temperature in there. So I just took it cool off a little bit. So it's probably going to So now we want to stick this into, uh, into there. So unscrew that. Yeah, unscrew that. Don't drop it. <laughs> and. Uh, and then this is starting to be cold with gas now. And then I'm just going to uh, put this in here. Now, actually, mating these two things together is a bit tricky, but we'll, we'll do that. Uh, we'll meet it in about three or four hours, so eventually. Okay. 
So, and then the last thing is, oh, I need to hook up the recovery. Um, so, so right now, there's no, the doer is not being recovered anymore. So you want to hook the recovery here. So I need to clamp over there. So, I'm a hose clamp somewhere. Uh, there, there, there was one, uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, isolated. Because this hose is always connected, so we need to make sure it's uh, we need to connect. We need to, uh, yeah, isolate. So this is just the recycling lines. And this valve is closed here. So as soon as I open this, the gas is already flush in there. That gauge is going to go. So, do we have a starting level for what this is at? Yeah, yeah it was 78. So, um, uh, we just want to know roughly how uh, that we're doing. And then we can monitor the level. If I plug that into the, there was an extension cord I was using for the uh, heat gun, I can just plug that in there. So, uh, all I'm doing now is uh, slowly push these. Yeah, things uh, unplug the leak detector. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, leak detector. Unplug the leak detector, yeah. We're all, we're all done. Basically, I can, I'm just going to push this down as far as I can. There's no reason that I shouldn't go all the way to the bottom. And then just slowly uh, let this go down. I can kind of watch the, uh, I can watch that recovery, that, see the new water on there? I can watch this as a pretty good indicative of how like uh, warm I'm getting the, uh, the doer. If I, if I get the, the, the trench stick, if I stick it down really fast, it'll evaporate a lot like yeah. a healing mark, so. and I would see it again. Uh, so right now it's going, Basically, about the rate that I, I wouldn't want it to go too much faster than each other. Now, the first transfer given, um, we want you, you want to transfer very slowly um, initially. Uh, uh, so, I think they recommend something in the manual. We can check, we can check what it says. It's something like between 5 and 10 meters an hour. John, sure likes going faster than that. Yeah, I always like, uh, time is money. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so we'll see. I, I mean, I tend to take between three and four hours for this trip. How, how long does it do you take for a first transfer? Uh, maybe two hours or something. But two hours? Yeah. <laughs> because I used to play with a uh, smaller uh, fridge, so maybe that's... Uh, uh, yeah, so I kind of go by... I, I actually, mostly I just go by weight. I try to keep the weight at something like that over the last seven. Um, actually, that sound is uh, from that one-way uh, valve, right? Yeah, I think so. The clicking sound. So as that starts to slow down, I'll just lower this down a little more. And I mean, eventually I want to get this done. It's, it's going to take a while before everything is cold enough initially so that liquid can actually flow from yeah. there. So first of all, you know, this this is already cold. The line the line here is to be cold enough. And then um, I mean initially you're gonna have some liquid going through here and it's gonna hit the chamber and it's just gonna turn the gas right away. Yeah. But it's gonna cool things down. Uh, but you don't wanna do that too you wanna like let that little bit of liquid go down initially and start to cool things down and gently lower down the temperature or anything until it's cold enough that you start